information systems in context, users and participants. Now, this video is created to not only explain what users and participants are, but also give you an understanding of the difference between users and participants in relation to the information system as a whole. So I'm gonna highlight them both now, and the first thing that's obvious that should stand out is if we look at the actual blue information system, we can see participants exist within the information system, whereas a user is outside in the environment, and through the arrows we can see they interact with the information system. So that just is there to illustrate that the participant is actually a part of the information system itself. So let's try to see what the differences between these two are. And we'll start off by first talking about the similarity, which is both users and participants are the different categories of people who interact with the information system. So we'll look at the user first. And basically what the user is, is there any individual who uh, uses the system for its intended use. So they access the system for its intended purpose. They essentially use the system for its intended purpose, which may be to retrieve information, to pay for a service, or to be entertained. Okay, so whatever the system was designed to do, the user uses it at its base level to do that operation. Okay, and then basically the system uh, takes their data, gives them back their information, their interaction is done with the system. Okay. The participant, on the other hand, okay, is often referred to as a direct user in relation to the information system. And they are an integral part to the functionality of the system. As we saw in the diagram, they exist within the system and they help complete those information processes. The participant is considered a part of the information system and assists with the execution of its information processes. A participant may need to complete tasks for the information system, such as, okay, entering values to be calculated by the system, executing specific commands within the system so tasks can be complete, and maintaining the hardware and software of the information system. So without the actual participant's involvement, the, particip uh, the actual system itself either will not function or could potentially fail or not uh, work to its maximum integrity without their involvement. Okay, so they are one of the cogs in the system essentially, except they're a human element. So just to point out and just really hit the nail on it, okay, in many cases, the information system would be unable to function without the involvement of specific participants, okay? So I hope that helps you understand the difference between users and participants in relation to an information system. Essentially, users just use the system for its intended purpose, get their information out of the system, whereas participants are essentially a part of the system. They work and uh, contribute to completing the information processes and help the information system run.